Black Star Credit Union. Um, he was with us for the last few years when we met him from the DC and his people with the Black Star Credit Union. I love the work that they're doing because we got to tool our resources as Marcus Gowdy taught us. But this time we'd like to bring us to DC to talk about um, the Black Star Credit Union. Let's give him a round of applause. Greetings, to everyone. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Ghana. I don't know how many people here. It's their first time in Africa, first time in Ghana, and it's their show of hands. First timers. Well, you know, Africa, I'm confident Africa, Ghana in particular, will have a profound impact on you. Every generation produces people like us. I'm among distinguished panelists who have been impacted severely by just walking on the continent and reconnecting with our ancestors. It's a vibration that can inspire, inspire to live, work, and die in Africa. Anyone who can relate to that is who I would like to reach out to in particular because that's the signature of my experience in Africa, in Ghana. I first came to Ghana in 1994 and went back with a desire to return and find a way. It didn't occur until 1999 when I decided to invest in a, a, a piece of property, which is one of the most trickiest and riskiest moves one can endeavor to embark on. It's a very untidy business, dealing with land. You know, that is the real deal. I won't sugarcoat it. I tell you the, the, the real deal, you know. The, the, the chiefs will fight over their grandfather's land. And one, one member of the family will sell a particular piece of land to multiple buyers. And everyone is vulnerable, no matter whether you're a Rooney, foreigner, or local. You have people who buy their property two, three, three times. Because the first person who you pay is not the real owner. Then after you build, somebody show up and say, explain yourself. So you have to negotiate with that person. A third person can show us. Recently in Senna Verapu, we heard about a fourth person, a Ghana woman, by her land four different times. So these are the things that um, you are exposed to as an investor when it comes to land. My journey in Ghana led me to become a part of the Black Star Line property and we're very pleased to be a part of an organization that is based on a cooperative model, a collective model. model. And the genesis of it is also interesting because it's a grassroots organization. You know, it was started by the Virginian from the Rastafari Home to Ghana, which was a group of African Ras and foreign based rats who came together and decided to put together a credit union. Now, when we first started the credit union, we were laughed at because, you know, it was taking us a very long time to reach the, um, the minimum criteria that the Ghana Credit Union Association demanded of us to be um, affiliated. You know, the churches, when they start their credit union within a few months, they would get their 150 members. It took us about six years to do that. It started, we started it in 2009 and we got affiliated with the Ghana Credit Union Association Corps, as well as the Department of Properties, another government organ that you have to satisfy criteria. It took us until 2015 to accomplish that milestone. At the same time, we also was able to establish 
in an office and satisfy further requirements for affiliation. I served at the time as a recruiter. I also served as a supervisor. If anybody here is familiar with the cooperative model, the credit union is based on that. That means members own it, members use it, members profit from it, and members manage it. So the big difference between the cooperative model and the corporate model is that only members enjoy the services of the credit union. But that brings challenges as well because in terms of human resources, where the executive is concerned, the loans committee, the supervisory committee, those organs that are essential in the effective operation of the credit union are all voluntary positions. And it's a very difficult, um, it's a very difficult um, portfolio to fill continuously because of that feature, voluntary feature. But we have been able to, to do that um, this, we have um, the current manager. I also serve as manager until um, last year, July. But we have the current manager in the house, which is um, assistance, mobile bankers. We also have um, a member of the um, of the um, board of directors, the vice chair, who can speak more in depth on the current growth and um, position and criteria. But I want to encourage those who may develop an interest having come to Africa and want to pursue some interest in Africa to use the credit union because it's our thing. You, know? you don't have to take out all your money from Barclays or Standard Chart or Chase. So use the credit union, there's investment opportunities which I think would appeal more to people like us. A lot of us don't really need to, to, to acquire loans, but you can get a 10% um, investment product that you can put some money there and you know live off the interest, uh, earn a little interest over time. Um, so I really want to share some of the experiences at the credit union that motivated us to enter into um, starting an investment group called Moving Forward Investment Group. This is an effort to acquire land and we want to do it in all 10 regions of Ghana for residential, commercial, agricultural and recreational purposes. Most of the repatriated experiences, you know, people come they acquire a plot or two, they build and they live comfortably by themselves. You know, we don't really have a sense of community. Our region here from Garvey is an excellent example of where community can serve a, 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 a positive purpose when we combine our resources. We want to also follow that pattern and take control of the security the landscaping, the road maintenance, the waste management, you know what I mean, the food production, because we want to integrate growing food where we live so that, you know, we can protect ourselves from the onslaught of the GMO, you know what I mean, the, 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 the poison that they are forcing on us. You know, we need to take responsibility for generating our own food. And we think it's important that if we can grow our food where we live, then that is a big plus for us. You know, we can separate ourselves from the Babylonian system because soon your money is not going to be useful to you. You can't eat the money. We see, we see evidence of that happening right now. You know, you can't have the money, but if you can't get food, you can't live. So, based on a survey that we did while managing the credit union office. We realize that many of our people are interested in real estate acquisition. And it's primarily for residential purposes. So in absorbing that information, we decided to form a limited liability company, moving forward investment group, 
to do the upfront dirty work of the search that was mentioned earlier that is necessary to identify who owns the land. Is it the person that you are talking to who you negotiated with? Are they on record as owners of the land? They have to, they have to do that diligent work seriously. <coughs> You can't pass no money unless you know who you're talking to. As I have pointed out earlier many times, those who are fronting as owners of the land don't have anything to do with it. They're probably just connected to the family. There's also the possibility of litigation. So you need to find out is there any legal issues on the land in question. After you get the side plan, you go to the Lands Commission and you identify the need of the search. So these are just some of the things that we are doing up front. You know, we have targeted communities in Sena Veracruz, which is along the coastal corridor between Accra and um, Riniba, the road to Cape Coast. And we are also looking at um, Ensoma area, which is a district capital in the eastern region. Senna Veracruz is the, is the central region. And so on is the eastern region. And so on is a more elevated um, area, a, a little bit more darker soil, a little more fertile, I think, and it's a little bit more cooler. So people who are interested in the beachfront or beach area properties will find Senna Veracruz um, a lot more favorable, favorable. And those who prefer like mountain areas, cooler areas, we find into our area um, a, a little bit more uh, appealing. So the aim is to acquire 50 plots and develop it to provide recreational facilities. You know, we see in the way um, land is developing in Ghana. Every square inch is sold. There is no public space, hardly any. Every square inch is sold, so there is no open space. There is no recreational space. You usually have to go to a church or some similar kind of um, structure in order to do an outdoor, in, for example. Or, you know, people just block the street <laughs> and, 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 and keep a funeral, you know, on, on weekends. So we want to take responsibility for designing these features into the community. We also want to take charge of security so that the whole 50 acres that we initially started will have some security feature 24-7. Lighting also, you know, these are aspects of community development that we see that is under appreciated the way communities are developing in, in Ghana. So we want to we make a change in how these things are about. But um, I'd like to bring our comrade, um, Emperor, to speak more on the, um, the credit union and provide more detailed information on that. <coughs> 